In my work, I like to see very far into the distance. Deep down inside, there are certain things that, that resonate with me. Compositions or vistas. There's something about these trees at Pepperwood in their age and beauty and uh, shapes and their relationships to each other. Standing there uh, against that vast panorama, you know, like patriarchs, is a fascinating interplay when you're, when you're doing it as art. In a representational landscape, which is uh, realistic to the point that I do it, where there's a, there's a strong illusion of space, the eye is also going back into the, to the depth of the canvas. For this particular show, I, 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 I pushed the, the level of detail a little further, and I wanted to do things that were very specific to the place. My grandfather and my grandmother both were professional artists. They did fashion illustration in New York. They did theater design, set design. My grandfather did oil paintings. He taught me to draw. So there was that love of and interest in art. As soon as I turned 18, I had saved some money and I traveled around Europe for about three months. You know, I went to the Uffizi. I went to the Academia in Venice, to the National Gallery in London, to the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, the Louvre in Paris, and so I saw all the, these great paintings, the tradition of landscape, beautiful landscapes that artists, Theodore Rousseau in the Barbizon School or Corot or Rembrandt or Rysdale, the, the Dutch School. To me, the Dutch School is very meaningful because I love clouds. I love the dimensionality and weightlessness of clouds. You see that in the, my views of High Hill. When I first went up to uh, this hill, you spoke about the significance of that mountain. Kanamoto. What does that mean in Wapo? Wapo Indian people see themselves as coming from there, and then in their sense of time, they see themselves as going back there. So their, their eternal energy emanates from that particular place. individuality of these these great oaks it's like a portrait so I, I actually do say hello when I, <laughs> when I go up to that to those trees because they're grand you begin to feel like you understand them or understand something about them the pepperwood experience for me it has become a place of understanding